So let's try a little practice. Listen to this caregiver of a stroke survivor. Use your pen and paper to jot down a couple of high impact words or phrases you might incorporate in a paraphrase. So let's say the caregiver is said something like, my husband has been home from the hospital now for three weeks, but the time has just flown. I know he's made some progress since the stroke, but many days I feel just as exhausted and scared as those early days. To be honest, some days I feel so overwhelmed and out of sorts, I'm really not sure I'm helping him recover at all. Okay, so let's look at this message from the caregiver. There's some high impact words and phrases you might pull out for a paraphrase. Something like, you're exhausted and scared, or overwhelmed, out of sorts. Summarizing is an extension of the paraphrase. It's a way to recap what has been said and provides an opportunity to include both concrete and emotional information. As a form of active listening, it's important to keep it brief. There are other reasons to employ a paraphrase, which we'll talk about later, where a longer summary might be beneficial. Let's go back to our caregiver. How would you summarize this? Let's say the caregiver says, I'm not really sure how to help him recover at all. I mean, what am I supposed to be doing with him exactly? Someone was talking about flashcards. Should I get flashcards? Is that it? Are we supposed to, I just don't even know. I'm so terrified he's going to have another stroke and I'm just watching him. I, I just can't hardly leave him alone. So one possible response is, you're exhausted and overwhelmed and you're not sure what you can do or how you can contribute to his recovery. And life right now seems a little bit scary. Would you, some, would you say that? Something like that can really help summarize the content of what the caregiver has said. 